Good morning, Cowpoke. Today is Thursday, February the 2nd, 2023. Good morning, Cowpoke. Today is Thursday, February the 2nd, 2023. Well, it's Groundhog Day again. That's right. It's Groundhog Day. And here are your daily challenges. For your general daily challenges, you might as well head on out to Manzanita Post because you're going to be spending a lot of time out there today. And right for your first challenge, you're going to have to pick five blackberries. You'll also have to cook three seasoned pork today. Seasoned pork can be the peckerel pigs found out in New Austin, or they can be wild boar found in Lemoyne. Just go ahead and get them little suckers, cook them up with some oregano, and you've got your gold. You're also going to have to finish in a race series today. That doesn't mean you have to place anything. If there's 16 players and you finish 16th, as long as you finished, you'll get your gold. You're also going to have to pick five Indian tobacco today. Well, it's 1898 in this game, so we should be calling it Injun Tobacco. Go get yourself some Injun Tobacco there, feller. Chew it up five times, and you're going to get your gold. Five non-player enemies are going to get lassoed from horseback today because we all know this is the one daily challenge we're all actually going to try to complete. Today you're also going to have to skin two North American raccoons. North American raccoons can be found pretty much all over the map except for New Austin and the northern parts of Amberino. And finally, for our PvP fans, you are going to have to get three player kills with melee in free roam events. Beat them to death, club them to death. I don't know what you're going to do, but I know that if you do it three times, you're going to get your gold. For your bounty hunter daily challenges this morning, you're going to have to head on out to New Austin because you'll have to bring in two bounties from New Austin posters. That's Tumbleweed, that's Armadillo. Ooh, Armadillo. Careful you don't get the cholera. You're also going to have to bring in two bounties with other posse members. I recently have not been getting credit for these, so do be careful and make sure you're doing your other roll daily challenges to complete your nine, because this one just might not check off. But do it anyway, because if you do get credit for it, you're going to get some gold. And you're going to have to hog tie three bounty targets with a reinforced lasso. For you new bounty hunters, if you don't have a reinforced lasso, what are you waiting for? Yeah, I know it's expensive, but seriously, it is the best investment you're going to make as a bounty hunter. They don't jump off your horse so much. Well, our man Crips' attitude has definitely improved a little bit since we put him in his place and put him back in his rags. However, he did feel a little bad about it, so he decided he was going to punish us. He wants 20 carcasses donated within 10 minutes. No and Dagum, well, you can only fit six in a wagon at a time. What you trying to do to me, Crips? You're also going to have to sell two goods to a local buyer. The bonuses are gone, so don't even worry about that. Your local deliveries knock out two of them, whether it's a full wagon, whether it's not, it doesn't matter. Just do that, and you'll get your gold. And you will also have to do one resupply mission with five minutes or more left. Shouldn't be difficult as long as you're not dilly-dallying around, or as long as it doesn't send you halfway across the map to grab a bag of supplies. For your collector daily challenges, you'll first need to know where to find our lovely nomadic mistress this morning. And just as I said earlier, you'll be spending a lot of time in Manzanita Post, as she is right here on your map. Just take the road north from Manzanita Post, follow it around to the right, and you'll find our pretty gypsy lady. And as always, the lovely Madame Nazar has kept it nice and easy for us today. We are going to have to find three American wildflowers. Buy a map, pick the flowers, and your gold. Three antique alcohol bottles found. It's the number one collectible you find when looting NPCs, so make sure you keep your eyes peeled, and if you don't get enough, come here, buy a map, finish the job. And you will also have to sell three collectibles to Madame Nazar. As always, my recommendation is to only sell things that you have three or more of so that you don't disrupt any sets. Good to see you too, Madame Nazar. I know I was here this morning, it was dark, and I couldn't quite do the recording yet and everything, but we're here now. How are you? Aren't your feet cold? 
For your Moonshiner Daily Challenges this morning, you're going to have to make $200 from selling moonshine. Now with the bonuses gone, that means you're going to have to make good, strong moonshine, or you're going to have to make a couple of deliveries. You'll also have to head into the bar. We can ship it whenever you like. Good, and we'll make our $200. You'll also have to head into the bar because you're going to have to serve four others at the bar today. So send out those invites or make sure you're accepting them. Get behind the bar, do your bartending, and make your gold. And my favorite, play with the band for two minutes. Twice. Play with the band for four minutes. You know what, just do a set with the band, you'll get your gold. Yeehaw! For your naturalist daily challenges today, you are going to have to craft or cook five times at your wilderness camp, just like you did yesterday. If you've run out of any tonics, make sure you're doing them at your wilderness camp today and not your main camp. That way you can get your gold. I bite. You know, I leave that to my friends. Harriet, I'm going to bite if you don't stop talking. And you're also going to have to photograph one legendary animal. One way to get close enough to the legendary animals to photograph them is to get pheromones from Harriet. Ah, <sighs> just love coming to see this woman. And if you are level 10 or higher, you are going to have to revive one sedated animal. Guys, thanks for stopping in today. My name's James. You're watching The Dark Knight of Thrones. If this video helped you out in any way, please don't forget to give it a like. Let us know what you think in the comments. And to make sure you stay up to date on all of your daily challenges, as well as Red Dead Redemption 2 and other gaming and entertainment content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Once again, I'm James, and you're watching The Dark Knight of Thrones. To all my cowpoke gunslingers and dancing gals alike, we shall see you next time.